Greenville is, is growing. If you've lived here for a long time, you can see that. And the only thing that we don't have is an independent movie theater. It takes a group to come along with a fresh idea to show, no, there's something that can be much, much better here in our city. I don't know that there's anything that does that quite like the film house. What I love about being involved at the Film House is that we're creating a home for the universal love of movies that people in our city seem to have. And through that, we're creating a community where people can come and watch amazing movies, and we're doing more than just show them these films. We're creating an experience for our audience. Hi, my name is Darren Zongrone. I am the founder of the Film House. Hi, I'm Jill Brinson. I'm the marketing director for the Film House. The mission of the Film House is to educate the public and to bring more film culture to the upstate. Our ultimate goal is to open a dine-in theater with full-service bar in downtown Greenville. But in the meantime, we've developed a mobile movie theater to build awareness and funds for the project. Leading up to their ability to you know, actually be able to run indie first-run films, uh, what they're doing in the community is, is awesome. You know, they're, they're showing classic films, they're showing uh, modern classics, well-known comedies, at different venues, they're working with food vendors, they're doing all this great community stuff, just uh, not only to raise awareness uh, about the film community, but uh, just to have a great time. We started several film series last year. Our first one was one at Coffee Underground that ran until August of 2014. Then we had one at Swamp Rabbit Cafe, which was a big outdoor summer series. Then we did a big free series with the library, and our most successful one was our Thomas Creek that's still going on today. My favorite event so far was the Enchantment Under the Sea dance that they recently did at uh, Swamp Rabbit and it was just a lot of fun to have a band playing and be able to dress up and do like there's photographs and you know we got my wife and I did prom pictures and we just got to like hang out and there was great food and it was just a huge thing that was just enjoyable across the board. With your support we're actually outgrowing our current equipment and capacity. I can't imagine a better problem to have. We've seen audience attendance grow nearly 10% already in 2015, and we've had to find ways to accommodate that growth. We've doubled our screenings at Thomas Creek Brewery, and we've added more screenings to our summer series at Swamp Rabbit Cafe. We've also started a partnership with the Upcountry History Museum, where we show movies along with their exhibits. In addition to these series upgrades, we've also added a film class, and we'll be assisting with the Reedy Reels Film Festival happening in Greenville in October. I like that it's in various settings right now. It would be awesome when they have just a home that we can go to and share with them on a regular basis. But I like the fact that it travels to different parts of the city and, and, and brings in new people and creates a different experience every time. In order to bring the film house to the next level, we are once again turning to our public. The support from the community has been overwhelming so far and we want to continue to bring you the quality that you expect from us. We're so lucky to live in a rapidly growing city with such a rich culture in the arts. With the Film House, we want to take it to the next level by bringing Greenville first-run independent film. We're raising money for a bigger screen and more sound equipment. These new additions will help us better serve a larger audience and show more movies in 2016. It's time for us to enjoy the cinema that the rest of the country gets to see on the big screen. Once again, my name is Darren Zongrone, and on behalf of the Film House, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you'll consider donating to the project, but if you can't, at least share it and support the cause. If you're not already, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And be sure to check out our website and subscribe to our email list so you can be the first to find out about events and news from the Film House.